Okay. Some bunch of you had asked for just stuff scow related in general. Well, I'll show you one. I love this. It is how to split something. Let's say those fancy split letters everybody's so crazy about. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll do this one. All right. It's very, very simple. It literally takes you a couple of seconds to do. All right. So you get this little doohickey jobber, this uh, rectangle. Put it across. You can make it thinner or whatever you want, but make sure it completely transects your design right there. Okay. Oops. Let's get this. Imaginary box, your whole thing. Um, come up here to path, back minus front. Okay. So now, now we want to try to, yep, just highlight this. Okay. Actually, I'll do this. Come up here to break apart. Okay. Try this again. There we go. Object group. We're going to move that puppy down. Okay. We're going to go this one. Object group so that they're all grouped again. Okay. I'm going to come over and we'll grab one, two of those triangles again. Them. You could actually just do one and duplicate it, um, which sometimes is easier, but see see those little blue lines? That's what I'm telling you about. I tell you exactly. There you go. So you know that they're even. That's what I actually wanted to show you, was that how to use these blue lines to help you uh, make sure your things are even. Okay. All right, so there's that. Okay, so let's highlight this. Path Union. And there we go. And we'll do this one. Path Union. And there you go. So that is the split letter J in this funky little thespian caps. Okay? And I could go through and keep going, but that is how you do it. It is so very, very easy to do, and you can go through and do a whole alphabet. Um, when I did the Regal Split font, um, I timed myself, and I think it took me either 26 or 28 minutes um, to do the entire uppercase set. It's that easy, and it actually is a lot of fun. So enjoy.